If you know that song, can you sing it aloud? Yarado Bafi Dano Kobelea Imale Okuku Shidano Imale Deo. I want you to sing it aloud for the last time. Imale Father, in the name of Jesus. We declare the service open in the name of the Father. The Bible says you inhabit the praises of your children. We pray that as we raise the sacrifice of our praises, that you come from your inner court and draw us above in the name of Jesus. We pray that as we worship and as we praise you, every darkened aspect of our lives becomes light in the name of Jesus. Every gray areas of our life become enlightened in the name of Jesus. Job says, by light, I walk through darkness. Father, as we praise you, the psalmist says, we enter his court with praise. And in your court, you dwell in a place of unapproachable light. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we raise the sacrifices of praise, we pray that you draw us to your inner court. In Jesus' name, we have prayed.
nyegina gina ya na zweze Odigo nye gina ya na zweze Eze ndi eze ndi eze ze on Shukwa ma kibu Onye meri kibu Onye meri kibu Na rekele na rotuto Na rambu nenu nileo Na rambu nenu nileo So give me the door. 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 Hey, 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 hey,
beginning and the end, the rose of Sharon, the Alpha and Omega, the one who sits upon the throne and makes the earth his footstool. adoration to him the glorious God the 
one we've come to praise. The one we've come to worship. The one we've come to honor. The one we've come to give. The glory that is to him. We lay our crowns in worship of you. Be thou exalted in Jesus' name. Somebody say a better amen. Clap your hands for Jesus. If you're excited to be here today, clap thy hands the better. To the glory of the Lord God Almighty, the great I am that I am. The Alpha, the Omega, the Ancient of the Days. The only true and righteous God. The one that was and is and is to come. The one that raised and rose in the affairs of men. The Alexele, we, the God of all flesh. Oh, okay, Somebody shout Jesus. Look at the person by your side and say, are you ready? To dance? To rejoice in his presence. What is the response? Wow. God bless you all. Can we have our seats to the glory of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit? More oil, more anointing upon the fresh fire in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. It's going to be an awesome time today. Praise God. We have some invited guests in our midst today. That will lead us mightily in the presence of God, praising and celebrating this, our Lord Jesus. The goodness of the Lord in our life. And wonderful, a wonderful thing is going to take place today. By the awesome wisdom that the Lord has given unto our mommy, I want to announce to us all that there will be a competition in the house today. I didn't hear you say something. Praise the Lord. Mommy shocked me and shocked all of us. Hallelujah. That is why she's a daughter of the spirit. You don't know how she's going to go. Praise the Lord. And so today, to the glory of God, our mommy just told us that the three guest ministers we shall be having today ministering before us, apart from the bedside of the choir, is going to be a competition between them. Somebody say, he said, yeah, yeah, better. She says out of these three people, she wants to promote them. She wants to see the stuff that they are made of. They are all hearing it for the first time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we have three people that will be ministering with three groups. Um, Yinka Jubal. Deacon Friday Igbe. And Chukwe Buka. Praise the Lord. So, when they'll be ministering, we'll see what they have to offer. They'll be judged. And the parameters that will be judged is the songs they have to deliver. Their dancing skill. Praise God. They must be able to front off the dance. If they stand like a statue, we will stand like a statue. But if they dance, which we do what? We will dance. So they'll be judged in line with their dancing. How organized and prepared they are. That's another parameter whereby they'll be judged. And then they will be judged how according to their dressing. Praise the Lord. Number one, their song. Number two, the dancing. Number three, how organized and prepared they are. That is their presentation. And then number four, their dressing. So when the time comes, um, the stage is there for you. We want to see what you have prepared for the God you've come to. Deliver what he has given unto you in the name of Jesus. Are you ready? Are you ready? So without wasting much time, I just want to take the memory verse and the welcome message of today. To God be the glory. Lord. Hallelujah. Now, this group, each one of them, you know their names. Praise the Lord. You know yourself. The group, uh, mommy's 
when it's going to be just one group that will be coming out out of this. Like it's a competition. So only one of them will come out as the winner. And that group, she's going to um, make sure that they come out to the limelight. They are able to produce their own CD. Are we together? Are, are this group in the house at all? You're not even excited. So they'll be able to launch their own CD. And this very competition will be held every two, two years. Every two, two years. Fresh Fire, did you hear that? Every two, two years. So the winner, she's going to support them. She's going to sponsor them for them to launch their own CD. So the three, the two, three, uh, three different groups, please take notes. It's a very, very wonderful privilege and honor that the God has bestowed on you through the servant leader. And I expected you to be more excited and to shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we'll see those that will come out the winner today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So the welcome message for today says, when God created man, can we pay attention? Thank you. When God created man, his intention was for us to give him pleasure. There is no higher purpose that we can have that is greater than to continually praise God in the beauty of his holiness. This month's prayer retreat is a praise concert theme, Baraka. It is the Hebrew language. It is in the Hebrew language. Baraka is an expression of praise or thanks directed to God. And the scripture is taken from 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verses 13 to 26. Praise God. I think scripture talks about the story of the children of Judah when they were attacked by the kingdoms of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir. Talk about being overwhelmed by the enemy. They knew that the battle was almost lost even before it began. Rather than give in to the enemy in defeat, they turned their eyes to the Lord and began to acknowledge his greatness and his power. They called to remembrance his promises to them in response. The Lord told the children of Judah to obey a simple instruction and they will overcome their enemies. That instruction was for Judah to sing and praise God whose power is greater than any power on the earth. As they did this, the one who is the mighty man in battle rose in defense of his people and the enemies of Judah turned on each other till there was none left. That shall be the portion of your enemies today in the name of Jesus. Our God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He wants to fight our battles for us and give us victory without sweat or labor. So no matter what we are going through, we too can choose to praise God knowing that he will come to our aid and rescue us from every challenging situation that might be confronting us. Therefore, I encourage you to make praise, worship, and thanksgiving a part of your daily life. He deserves our praise, and it's only our responsibility to honor him daily. Don't wait for God to do something miraculous for you before you praise him. Neither should you wait for challenging situations to threaten you before you acknowledge him. When we cultivate a lifestyle of appreciation for God, he will always take care of all that burdens us. Remember, when the praise goes up, the blessings come down. As usual, our newsletter is full of testimonies, prayers, confessions, and memory verses for your reading and use. So, Let's share it with our friends and family and use it as an evangelism tool. Kindly be reminded that our sixth annual national crusade is scheduled for November 2022. It will be an on-site program and the venue will be in Lagos Island. The details will be communicated soon. Somebody say amen. amen. Quickly, we want to take our memory verses. It is the month of rejoicing. The Lord has called you and I that let us rejoice. And so we want to take our memory verses. All scriptures are quoted from the New King James Version. For week one, can we have it on the slide? We all will be saying it together. One to go. Week one. Memory verse. Praise the Lord. Can we take the memory verse? Do you have the, out, the, 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 the newsletter? Can we take it together? I want to go. But let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before God. Yes, let them rejoice exceedingly. Psalms 68 and verse 3. Can anybody try it out? 
without looking at that newsletter. Anybody? Praise God. Because of time, let's move on. Let's take it again together. One to go. But let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before God. Yes, let them rejoice exceedingly. Psalm. Good. Can we move to week two? One to go. One to go. And where is it found? First Thessalonians 16 to 18. Praise the Lord. I pray that you rejoice always and that in all circumstances, give thanks unto the Lord in the name of Jesus. Let's move on to week three. Yes. Mm -hmm. I will join. And where is it? Habakkuk. Habakkuk what? Three, verse 18. May we continue to rejoice in the Lord all the days of our lives in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Week four. Rejoice. Again, I would say Philippians. And that is our anchor scripture for this very month. Philippians chapter four, verse four. What did the Lord say you should rejoice? When? In the morning? In the afternoon? In the night? Let us echo it together. When? Always praise the Lord. Then week five. This is it's made. And that is where Psalms 18. Hallelujah. I want to say again. This is what the day has made. What will you do? And be glad in it. Somebody rejoice. Hallelujah. May your rejoicing never cease in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And so right now we want to take the hymn, Fresh Fire. Praise the Lord. I thought I was going to see people rejoicing. Praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice. We must and we will rejoice in the Lord. So as we are rejoicing, I want to stand on your beautiful and rejoice to the Lord. We're going to take our congregational hymn. We say, Be glad in the Lord and rejoice. All ye that are upright in heart, and ye that have made him your choice, be gladness and sorrow depart. Rejoice, rejoice. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice. Hallelujah.
love your city. Do we have grateful people in the house today? You know you are grateful to God. Can you shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Okay. This is the time for testimonies. Testimony time. Do we have testifiers in the house? If you have testimonies or you have a testimony, please kindly come forward. The Bible says in Psalms 34 verse 8, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. You know the Lord has been your shield. He has been your butler. He has been everything. You have testimony to give. Do we have anybody in the house? Okay, mommy, please let's laugh for her. She comes forward. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm just so grateful to God for what he has done for me this afternoon. It just happened that somehow, somehow, my phone got lost here and I did not know that when the praises started here I had a disturbance in my spirit I, I was worried, I said father what is happening I wasn't settled before you know it I, I just said your phone is not in your bag I turned, I brought my bag from under the chair and went through it, lo and behold I did not see my phone I went downstairs. I went to all the places we went. We, we asked for drama. I went for to all the places. I did not see. I didn't know what to do. I came out. I told few people. That spirit told me, "Don't give up. Go out and talk to the police outside." I went outside. I told them, "See what has happened, though." I don't know. I, one or a security man came with me. And I said, God, please, if that person is still around, please reveal. I need that phone because I have lost so many phones. And each time I lost a phone, all my accounts will be wiped. I told him, remember, this is, it has happened second time. Say, I, I, I sold and told you, don't let it happen again. Hmm. From nowhere, a woman inside just came. Is it a phone you're looking for? I said, yes. She said, it's with her. She went into her bag, brought that phone, and gave me. Hallelujah. I just said, God, this is how I am so grateful. Praise I thank him Lord. that he didn't allow me to cry for phone again. Thank you, Jesus, for restoration. <laughs> Mommy, please don't go yet. We are still going to have prayers. Okay. Our next testifier, please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Osu October I go go ni won mu mi wa meko. In this Alleluia. month of October is when they brought so, me to Lagos. I I your mekun omo mi ti tun gba ka o ti tun gbe sele aka ba 16 years old age yakọ bi omo mi. Oh, oh her grandchild celebrated her 16 years birthday. Hallelujah. Mo lo je ni ni so si na bi mo ti we kele bi en to lo lo na ni si won mo ni Jesu. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Is the Lord not good? We thank God for restoration for our mommy and we give God praise for preservation of life, health and wealth with children all around her table just as the Lord has promised. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's bow our heads as we pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for wonderful things that you have done. We give you all the glory because you are the God that has our best interest at heart. We thank you for all the wonderful things that you surrounded us with. We thank you, O oh God, for your spirit that is one. And we appreciate you, O oh God, because these beautiful people have given beautiful gifts of praise to you. And we pray, mighty God, that Lord, these blessings you've given to them, they shall enjoy it. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. We shall keep on praising you and we shall keep on being blessed. All the glory and honor to your name forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Quickly before the first guest artist will come forward for the ministry, for the ministration, um, we want to get ready about the competition. We need to have some judges that will um, rate them so that we can come out with the best person amongst the three different groups. Praise the Lord. And so here we have a ballot. Uh, the people in this front, in this um, row of seats in front of me, you'll be picking from here. And when you pick, eventually you will tell me when I ask you what you have written in the paper you have picked. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Then from there we know what next to do. So you can see it. Hallelujah. I will shake it right now. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I expect the different groups to... Um, Every one of us will be praying that I will be one of those that will be chosen by the Lord to do this great and auspicious um, uh, um, honorable gesture in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, an usher, please. Can an usher come forward? Where is Ella? So, from here to here, they'll be picking from this. So, start from here. Let them pick. Please, when you pick it, you open it, you hold it, I will ask you what you have picked. Let's be fast about it. One, one. One, one. Yes. Yes. Fresh fire can be giving us some little songs as it's going on. Just pick one, just pick one.
Are we done? I want you to open the piece of paper that you've picked. Okay, have we all opened it? We have numbers lettered from 1 to 67 according to how we're seated. Amen. So in the um, piece of paper, you can see that all of them have the signature of our mommy on it. So there is no forging or anything. All of them, she signed on it. So nobody can bring in their own and say, that is the number that I picked from them. Praise the Lord. That is the wisdom we are learning from our servant leader. Praise the Lord. Let's clap our hands for our mommy. Praise the Lord. Amen. So right now, in that paper that you picked, if you have written on it the letter J, can I see you stand up? Look at that paper. Letter J. Letter J. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You have letter J? Can you come out? Let me see. You see it? She's number 59 with the signature of our mommy. And letter what is written on it? Letter J. J stands for judges. Do you have J on your own, sir? There's no J on your own. Please sit down. Thank you very much. Please, you can come out. Yes? So we can see J is also written on her own letter 10 with a signature and letter J. Yes, you can come out. Please come out, come out. Wow. All right, we have letter J. Yes, you're part of those to come out. Letter J, say it with a signature and the letter J written on it. Number 13, signature of our mommy and letter J written on it. Number 60, letter J written on it. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Should be seven. How many are we here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. So. Engineer Mabel, you have letter J. Please come out. Thank you very much. So we now have how many seats in front? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She understands already. Please, can we go to the back? We want the judges to sit in front. Thank you very much. We can replace the seats where they were sitting before. God bless you for being compliant without complaining or murmuring. You will not lose your blessings in the name of Jesus. Please, can the judges now sit in front? So you can see that we didn't plan who will be the judge. There is no partiality. So whatever they decide today, that is the end of it. Praise the Lord. Let's clap our hands again for Jesus. Amen. So you're, you're given a sheet of paper. You can see the parameters we're going to be using to judge them. So it is left for you. Whatever you write there, that is the end of it. So we're going to start with the first guest artist for today, the group. And that is... Chukwe Bukas group. Can you come forward right now? In the next 20 minutes, we have your presentation. Please, you are to dance. We've come to rejoice. It is African praise. Even though it's a competition, they are to spur us to rejoice in the presence of the Lord. God bless you in the name of Jesus. The Lord. 
Praise the Lord Church. Praise the Lord Church. I'm not trying to get your attention. I'm telling you praise the Lord. Please, we want you to know that the maximum mark you can give to them is five marks for each of them. If it is for dancing, five marks. You can give them two depending on what you feel. Praise the Lord and how you rate them. You can give them five, you can give them four. Praise the Lord or an average. So, but the maximum is what? Five. God bless you. Chukwe Buka. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank Mommy for the privilege. I'm grateful, ma. I don't take it for granted. I want to thank the pastorate and the board of ministers. I also want to thank my family, Fresh Fire. I love you all. Thank you for the opportunity. God bless you. People of God, I am very sure you came to see God today. In the book of Psalm 103, David said, enter with the password, thanksgiving. When you give thanks, he opens channels for you to assess God. And one thing, when you assess God, you can't remain the same. So as we thank God today, we enter dimensions and realm unseen. You are transformed. In that place, anything that does not correspond with God is brought down. Are you ready to give God praise? Yes. Are you ready to give God praise? Yes. Can we be on our feet as we thank the Lord this morning? Hallelujah. Somebody give God praise. Somebody give God praise. Somebody give God praise. We bless your name, Jesus. Eka pana ne, so na bena tiri ane, so ipanda so bena nande. We are not doing African praise.
would be a waste without Jesus. When God qualifies a man, nobody can disqualify that man. Yeah. And one way to be qualified in the spirit is by thanksgiving. When you know God can do all things and you settle it at his feet, every other thing is by God. I want to leave a song in your heart. That's what I hear. Omema na rekele. Omema na rekele. The Lord that doeth all goodness. There is never evil with our God. Let him accept all our thanksgiving. If that is your God, I want you to jam your hands for Jesus. That was an awesome one from the Chukwe Buka group. Can you come out and take a bow so that we can see both those and the instruments? Your group, Chukwe Buka, can you come out and take a bow to the glory of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit? All of you. We want to know how many you are. Can you bow, take a bow to God Almighty? The one who have used you this very afternoon to his praise. Some of them were at the instrument praying, uh, playing the instruments. God bless you. Let's clap our hands for Jesus for them. Thank you, Father. Okay, please. We want to have a photograph of this group. I want to have a photograph of them. Please, can we be fast about it? Immediately after this group, then the drama group will come forward. Thank you very much. That's wonderful. God bless you. Were you blessed by that ministration? More is coming. So this very moment, we want to welcome the drama group of the Rose of Sharon Glorious Ministry International. They have a drama skate to present to the glory of God. Clap for your hands for Jesus as they come forward. And after the drama group, we'll be having the um, second guest, oh and that will be um, Yinka Why? Jubal and his group. God so drama right mercy. now, drama. Eh? Why is this girl always putting me in problem? Eh? Oh, Julari! Oh, Julari! Hey! Oh, my God. Eh? What is wrong with you? You don't share Eh? eh? Who gave you the phone you are holding? Oh. God, yeah, the 350,000 you stole from the house. Where Which is it? 350,000. You are waiting for me outside. Like you are disturbing for this me. family. Oh, oh you are disturbing. Oh, oh your eh? eyes too much. The is government are put down my shop hey. because of your problems. Debt everywhere. My people are waiting for me. Oh. Which people? People. My oh, people. my God. God have mercy on me. My people. Oh, you are waiting read, you for know me. the meaning of your name. Hey. Eh? It is about you are disturbing me. Oh. I'm disturbing you. Yes. I'm disturbing you. Yes. Ha! God forbid, Barton. This is not what God give to me. The Hello, enemy Hello. has done it Hello. again. Hello. Oh. What is the problem again? Ah, your daughter. Your daughter. Your daughter. Your daughter. Is what you put inside me. No, your daughter. Your daughter. Your daughter. Your daughter has been disturbing hey, me. Take care of yourself. I'm going to work. We can't take care of ourselves without you, your sir. Your daughter. I'm Are you hearing your you. father? Oh, Are you I'm hearing your father? Going, oh. Are you hearing your father? I'm going, oh. Going to where? I'm going, oh, to, my, I'm going to my base. Where, where is your base? base? That phone you are holding, who gave it to you? Huh? Who gave it to you, Julari? my partner now. You are bringing this way to this family. Disgrace of what, mommy? You are a thief. You fight in the bus stop. Uh. You kill people anyhow. Every yeah, day problem. Every day problem. Every day problem. To collect my oh, my God. Oh, goodness me. Oh, God. May God have mercy on you. 
And your daddy is denying now. It's what he put inside me that I bring forth. Now he's telling me it's my daughter. I'm going, no. How can you? You, you can't I'm go anywhere. Going. You can't go anywhere, Julari. You can't go anywhere, Julari. Oh, Julari. May God have mercy on you. May God have mercy on you. Uh, my sweet. Uh, my sweet. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we have gone. We have gone. Me, we have seen Babalawo. Uh, we have seen prophets. No, pro, no, nobody is bringing solution. Ah, God. I'm tired of this mess. I am tired. What is the next step we are going to, What is the next step we are going to take now? Because know. we have been to the prophetess, the prophet, uh, whoever. We have tried a lot of people. They are even asking us to go and bring animals or sort of. I am oh, really, I'm tired of all this mess. So what are we going to do now? God, eh? have mercy on us. Help Can you us. imagine? 12 Show years, 12 years way. in marriage. What should we do? Me, I'm tired of being called barren. I am tired. What? Oh, God. Uh, Show us what to do. I want to be called a mommy. I want to be a mother. I want somebody, a child to call me mommy. Look at my fellow women. Why is my own different? Ah, God, we have been fasting. We have been praying. We have done what all we ought, what, what, what we are supposed to do. So what is happening? Please, can you tell me? Just have to wait on God. What else can we do? What else? We have done everything possible. We, Kukuma, have gone to, to the ocean. Eh, where they say they give baby. Oh, no, 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 no results. Ah, it is pathetic. Ah, no, no. Oh my God. Oh goodness me. What kind of life am I living for cry out loud? Eh? My shop has been demolished. My daughter has stolen my 350,000. Debt everywhere. I go have mercy on me. Oh, Julari. Do you understand the meaning of your name? Ah, go help me. Father, I need your intervention. I need your intervention. Ah, debt everywhere. Ah, my husband. What happened? Ah? Leave, me, leave me alone now. Leave me alone. What? 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 What happened? What happened? What happened? What? what? Leave me. What happened? Please. Let me hear. What happened? Just leave me. Leave me. Leave me. Leave me. Let me know what happened. <sighs> Calm down. We can't walk like this way. Calm down. What happened? We can't walk like this way. What was the problem? <sighs> ah. My sugar. You are the problem. I'm the problem. Yes, you are the problem. How? How? How am I the problem? Leave me alone, my little... Is it because of your daughter? Your daughter. That is what you put inside me. Your daughter. That is what you put inside me. I bring forth. Not be give it a beleo. It's you. Not be me. Oh. Don't deny it. Not be me. Look at his, her mouth. Nah. Look at her eyes. What? The shape of her head. Uh. Look at her step. Not be me. The oh. way you walk majestically. Not be me. How do you want to deny it? Not be me. It's your daughter. It's oh. your daughter. Oh. That one goes down to Avona. Wait. Hello? What happened? Ah? Huh? What? Me? No, 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 no. Sack? Me, sack? No, 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 they can't be me. What is it again? What happened? Hey! Huh? Jesus sack. Christ, yo. Oh, my God. My shop has been they demolished. Me, oh. My daughter has stolen my throne and 15,000 debt. And my husband is just oh. sacked. Oh, my God. God. God, we need your intervention. My husband, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. God must surely intervene. Ah, it's okay. It's, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. The Almighty God will take control. Calm down. Calm down for what? Calm down. Where will I start from? You have to start from somewhere. From where? You will start from somewhere. From which place? You will start from somewhere. Just they don't sack me for job and I said you stop. You will start from, from somewhere. I they owe money 12 million. Ah uh ah. -uh. Where go pia? Now you go worry, you won't give me the money. How won't take pia? Yeah. <sighs> this life, eh? God. God. God, we need your intervention. God, we need your intervention. God, we need your intervention.
the day of the morning time falls on all who comes under it. Eji gbo ju ara ilagbe de eji mo loko tutun agbede re sosun lona otire. Ngba tete dele aye nko se bo mo alagbe de ni ba ma se bi mo fina wa ni mo se un bi mi o fina wa ni mo se un fina 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 nbe lenu ilagbe de a e kini labo ni re omo owu na fin kira won biri owu mo gbo mo ya lagbe de eru oni re ni ro baba iwo fa oni re ni re lo lo wo fa oni re no lo be omo bibi ni onu re ni re mu emu lo ro o ni ro be nle baba re omo ba tin fa se mu si bojo n ro ojo ojo ni o oloku won lo sa ma ku won wa o mo wo aba mi ni sin awon to ma be won ti kere mo ni di malu mo ni di ewure epo ti yawo mata loja oja yawo mi kon ti lo le bayi ma ba mu ko won wa o la to tun ato si eh if i look mo e ma ko won wa baba o I can see. Don't talk. I can see. You guys are a couple. Yes, we are. As you are looking for a child, a, a lost child. Okay, okay. Ojulare, yes, sir. A lost child. It's showing me, I can see it. Mm, the child dead? Let me see. Baba. Let me see. Let me see. Ah. Is the child dead? Baba. Mm. Lost. That child will come back. Hmm? That child will come back. We'll come back. That child will come back. We'll come back. We'll come back. We'll come back. We'll come back. 300 white cows. Oh, oh go. Ah. Twenty Baba. drums of red palm oil. I want to go. Ah, ah. Baba. That child will come back. Within seven days, if we don't redeem these things, I'm telling you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, okay Baba. Within you. seven days, just try and redeem problem? it. All this fake prophets. Thank you, thank you. All this fake Baba. Father King of Glory, hungry, I need your intervention. Hungry man, we be, it's, it's I need hungry your man. intervention. We will give you money. As a mother of this he, he try, Daddy, I need your intervention. A round of applause for them. Now, wow. I just wonder what we are going to do this time. We have yes. gone up, gone down. Nothing. Ah, Father, when will it be my tongue? When will my joy be full too? Ah. Honey. Sweetheart. Guess what? Are you home? You don't have any cause to complain again. Eh? Because the Lord is with us. He has done it for us. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Do you know where I'm coming from now? Where, please? From Conceiver Program. Because I saw a big ball. They are talking about Sharon Glorious Ministry International. Then I felt I should go to the place and I saw miracles that happened in the place. I felt, wow! So people can still conceive and give birth. Many people were complaining about 18 years, 17 years, and yet the Lord delivered them. Our case is, is, is minor. It's just 12. And I know God has done it already. That is the essence of this rejoice. We are going to church to go and rejoice because Hallelujah. we know God has done it. We hey. have to rejoice ahead of time. See, this is the man to give in to me. Hey. I believe. 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 I he has done it. Aha! Uh -huh. Can you see? God has done it this He has done it. I believe. Uh -huh. I believe. I believe. I believe. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, I go, go praise this Confirm. God. Confirm. Hey! Let us go. Let's go hey, and praise let's him. Go, let's go. 
Yeah, hey, thank you. <laughs> oh, say you here. You hear what the man said me could bring? Hey, this man said me could some money now. I'm paying the children's school. No, it won't be the house. It won't be your house. And hey. the Holy Ghost. Can you imagine? Oh, eh? all this hungry people. Give and waiting. Give her this one. Give her that one for waiting. For what? Come and, and see right. what the Lord has done for me. Come, Come and God. see God. 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 what the Lord has done God. for me. We need your intervention. Come and see oh, July. what the Lord has done for me. He has my seen it. Guess what? I want to hear. Rose of Sharon Gross means they have their praise night. Praise? Uh -huh. Yes. Praise? Yes. Hey. You're all invited. Come with your problem. God will Every girl will solve it. Thank you, Jesus. We my problem people. is solved. Already. Yes, come. You are invited. Eh? I will tell this my evening dress. See me. You? Look at me. Just look at me. Say, I tied my tie. Just come. Oh, come. The Lord will bless Just you. We give you your hand. We bless you. All your, all your problem will solve in eh? Jesus' name. Come. You better. Come to Rose of Shari Girls Ministry. This evening, you are invited. Jehovah Nisi. Come, come, you're invited. Thank come. you, Jesus. Come, you're invited. Because God, 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 God is good all the time. Has uh, hey. joy. There is God nothing God cannot do. My joy. Oh God, we Why thank will you. I not praise this God? We glorify Why you. Can I tell my story? Oh God, we thank ah, you. Father, ah, now maybe be this. Thank you, oh. Ah, now maybe be this. Hey, hey, so God can do so. Oh. God, I appreciate you. Ah. Hey, who's in a kumwa? Oh, Jehovah, kumwa. Hey. Nah. I thank you, oh God. Oh. Yes. He can never disappoint anyone. Oh. oh God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. I assure I you. What the Lord has done for me. Come and see. What the Lord has done for me. Come and see. What the Lord has done for me. If you try to be mine, I will really pay. Hey, come and see oh, what the Lord has done for us. Come and see oh, what the Lord has done for us. Oh, come and see what the Lord has done for us. If you try to be mine, I will really pay. Everlasting Father. Everlasting Son, Immortal Ghost, be thou glorified. Everlasting Father, Everlasting Son, Immortal Ghost, be thou glorified. Everlasting, Everlasting Father, Everlasting Son, Immortal Ghost, be thou glorified. Everlasting Father. Everlasting Son, Immortal Holy Ghost, be thou glow. Hey, oh yeah, I can see everything. <laughs> everything. Oh yeah, I see everything. Uh -huh. I can see everything. Oh yeah, I see everything. Oh, I see everything. Uh -huh. Come on. Hey, I can see everything. Oh yeah. Everything turning around, everything. Aha, for a hallelujah. Are you not rejoicing with the drama group? 
Is everything not turning around for your group? For your group? Let's rise up and sing that song together. We can see everything turning around. Everything turning around. Everything. declared to you and I after today's dancing and praising in the house of God before your father, your maker everything will turn around for your good in the name of Jesus. God bless the drama group for that wonderful presentation in the name of Jesus. Amen. Right now we want to call on the second group to give us their own presentation. We are still rejoicing. We are still celebrating Jesus. And so once we invite right now Yinka Jubal and his own group. Right now, clap your hands and encourage them.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's good to be in the presence of God. Yeah. No, we are new. Valley of Veraka. Valley of Praise. And yeah, I will take a song down. It talks about Chabulani. Chabulani is the South African language. And it means rejoice. You know, when there is praise, there is rejoicing. Am I, am I right? When there is praise, there is rejoicing. I said, this is the day that the Lord has made.
Psalm 100. It said, make a joyful noise. Oh, ye lambs, can we hear you join them to make that joyful noise? Woo! Glorious God. Oh, Lord, I buy you. You are what? You are mighty. Please, can we have the members, the, um, all of you that are part of this um, musical group, can you come out and have a picture? Every one of you, please come out quickly. Clap your hands for Jesus as they are coming out. We thank God for your life. Pray that the Lord will take your places to his glory in the name of Jesus. Yes. also want to call on the drama please uh, the drama group come out and take a picture let's clap our hands for Jesus as they come forward that was a wonderful one the power of praise what praise can do in our lives quickly where are they are you clapping your hands now maybe if we speak it in other dialect that we can understand better Jesus, Aka. He bid you here with me. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yes. Have you taken? Where is Oju Larry? Oju Larry, please quickly come up. So after the presentation, ah, you do more Jesus Lawari. Shall be Jesus Lawari sing. Eh, but I will for Jesus. We can see Jesus and what He alone can do. Please let's take them. Okay, thank you very much. God bless every one of you. Amen. Okay, let's be seated. Right now, we want to hear from our Father. There's no way we can gather together without hearing, having the word of God. Praise the Lord. And so even as we're seated, we want to invite our brother, one of the Fresh Fire members, Brother Kyle Day, to give us the charge in this wonderful program of the Fresh Fire called Baraka. Clap your hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe you can do better than that. If you want to worship God, you have to stand on your feet. If you want to praise the King of Kings, the uh, mighty man of war. Allah, 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 Yes, Are you Father, we thank you because you will speak through your son in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, oh Lord, 
I surrender myself unto you in the mighty name of Jesus that you will use me to speak to your people concerning praise in the mighty name of Jesus and at the end of this section father when you are glorified I am blessed father be thou exalted in the mighty name of Jesus in Jesus name we are free in Jesus name we are free let's be seated let's be seated can you please celebrate yourself I, you are looking good you are looking wonderful you know you, you really dress nice you dress well today please celebrate yourself celebrate yourself celebrate yourself just give yourself a round of applause father we thank you can you just come to your neighbor and tell the person i am glad to be here i am glad to be here i am glad to be here praise god uh, the topic before me this afternoon uh as you know you know what we have come to do praise so i'm here to, to speak about praise but what i want to speak about praise is blessings in praise because if we are to go through the uh the bible verse that we have on the on the screen second chronicle 20 13 to 26 where the text was taken from we will discover the real meaning of beraka can somebody say beraka beraka so we will discover the true meaning of of Beraka from uh, uh, the, from that uh, passage, Second Chronicle twenty thirteen to twenty six. Second Chronicle twenty thirteen to twenty six. I believe Holy Spirit is helping us this afternoon in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, so I there is one thing I want you to I want to I want to give you a clue. Whenever uh, the Bible is about to be read. The Bible says, God sent his word and he led them and delivered them from their destruction. Sometimes you may not wait till the prayer will come before you receive your miracle. Because what the Bible says, the Bible says, he sent his word and delivered them. And he led them and delivered them from their destruction. So as I'm about to read the Bible, you better begin to touch anywhere. If you know that you have one problem or the other, and you will see the miracle of God. As the word of God is coming out right now, I pray it will meet you at, at your point of your name. In the mighty name of Jesus. So I'm reading uh, Second Chronicle 20, 13 to 26. Now, it's a story that we are all familiar with, but I will just try to, to, to take it as I can. Now, all Judah, with their little ones, their wives and their children, stood before the Lord. Then the Spirit of the Lord came upon Jehaziel, the son of Zechariah, the son of Benaniah, the son of Jael, the son of Matania, a Levite. A Levite of the sons of Asaph in the midst of the assembly. You know, we have can you please celebrate our fresh fire? This, this they are Levite. You know, we are talking about the Levite, they are Levite. So can you please celebrate them? And can you please celebrate the minister too? We have the Levite in the house. Thank you, Jesus. 15. And 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 he said, Listen, all you of Judah, and you inhabitant of Jerusalem, and you King Jehoshaphat. And you, King Jehoshaphat, thus says the Lord to you, do not be afraid nor dismayed because of this great multitude. For the battle is not yours. Can you tell somebody, the battle is not mine. The battle is not mine. If only you can praise God, you will see that the battle is not. And I pray that every battle that has followed you here, you will not see them again in the mighty name of Jesus. For the battle is not yours, but, but God. But God. 16, tomorrow go down against them. They will surely come upon they will surely come up by the ascent of Ziz, and you will find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jeruel. 17, you will not need to fight in this battle. Can I just pro prophesy to somebody? I want to declare upon somebody, I want to prophesy upon you that as from now on, you will not need to fight again in the mighty name of Jesus. As, from, as you praise God today, God will continue to fight your battle in the mighty name of Jesus. As you praise God now, it will raise a warrior that will fight your battle in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not need to fight in this battle. Position yourself and still and see the salvation of the Lord who is with you. O Judah and Jerusalem, do not fear or be dismayed. Let me just quickly go to um, 24 without taking much of our time. So let me let me read from 22. Now when when they began to sing and to praise. The Lord sent ambushes against the people of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, who had come against Judah. These are the three countries. They came up against Judah. 
you know uh, just like we have uh, we have ukraine standing against uh, i mean russia standing against ukraine okay now imagine that uk now join with ukraine uh probably uae to join with ukraine and they are now join with uh, russia and they are now fighting that little ukraine you know how disaster that can be but here we can see that the three countries they, they rose against judah they rose against judah and as we all know that judah is the only place of god judah is the only place of god so if you are a child of god there is no war no battle that can rise against you that can that that that, 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 that can suppress you if you remain in god i pray that god will fight your battle in the mighty name of jesus now when they began to sing to praise the lord the lord said ambush against the people of ammon moab and monsia who had come against judah and they were defeated for the people of ammon and moab stood up against the inhabitant of monsia without wasting much of our time we know what happened in that story when the uh the, the children of god when they began to praise when they began to praise when they began to sing god set amb ambush ambushment against their enemy but that is not where we are going we want to talk about the blessing sometimes the enemy can be defeated and you may not grab the blessing sometimes the enemy that you believe that is that is pursuing you the god might conquer that enemy for you but if care is not taken you may not see the blessing that is where we are going sometimes god have already fought your battle but your eyes are not open to the blessing hallelujah Amen. so when when you when we check the account that we have here in 26 and on the fourth day they assembled in the valley of Beraka after God have destroyed the Moab, the Ammon, all those enemies that came against Judah. So the Bible is now telling us here that and on the fourth day they assembled in the valley of Beraka for there they blessed the Lord. Therefore the name of that place was called the valley of Beraka until this day. When you check this word, this is an Hebrew word which means valley of blessing. Hallelujah. Valley, the, the real meaning of Beraka is blessing. Because when you say El Beraka, you are referring to God that supply, God that blesses you. But now you cannot take praise from blessing. Praise and blessing, they go pari pasu. They walk in hand. Where there is praise, there is always a blessing. Hallelujah. Where there is praise, there is always a blessing. So now, we want to really know, sometimes people will hear the word praise. What does it really mean to praise God? From what I... Uh, what I uh, wrote here, the, the meaning of praise is to express thanks, love, and respect for God. To express thanks, love, and respect for God. To write or say good things about God. Hallelujah. To write or, to write or say good things about God. That is what we... I can remember uh, those days that I still play secular music. You know, when I play with Juju musicians, you know, we musicians, we know how to get money from people hallelujah we know how to get money from people even if you see somebody that is short we we'll always find a place even the person is ugly we will always want to paint that person so that the person can release money to us hallelujah and if the person is, is too tall you will be hearing that potash all you understand what what i mean and when you see somebody that is short, any any google just for us to get what to get money we will continue to give them praise we we'll continue to give them name that has not been given to them by their parents hallelujah but this is where i'm going if human human being can do that if human being can do that when you praise them they dip their hand into their pocket and they give you something how much more god are we serve the bible even told us in the bible said if you the, the wicked ones know how to give good you know give good uh, gifts to your children how much more your father in heaven so i want us to get the understanding if the person if we can talk good about somebody and the person will just come, I heard what you say about me. Ah, in fact, is and the person dip uh, his, uh, his or her hand into, into the pocket and give you check. How much more God that you serve? So I want you to get the meaning. You can see what happened in that Chronicle 20, that second Chronicle 20, when the children of God began to praise God. The Bible says they don't even know what is what was going on behind them. God creates another God create another enemy for their enemy. I pray that God will fight your battle today. God will fight your battle today in the mighty name of Jesus. Those war that pursue you here, you will not see them again. But I want to implore you, this is a charge. This is a charge. I am here to charge you to praise God. So that you can know that it is good for you to praise God. 
Now, let's move forward. I want to see who can praise God. Yes, who can praise God. But before I go to that place, I want to still charge you. Uh, the Bible makes us to understand that praise all shall us into the presence of God. I sometimes ago I when I hear about dwelling in the presence of God, I'll just ask myself that what how do I go to the presence of God? This is a question that I've, I, I think I've even asked Brother Gabriel sometimes ago. And I thank God that God told, God explained. Then, when I, when, then I, I was still coming up in, my, in, in studying Bible. So until God opened my eyes to the uh, uh, Psalm 100 verse 4, enter into his court with praise and into his gate with thanksgiving. So before you can go to God, anyone that want to dwell, that you want to dwell, what do you do in the place of dwelling? You wait, Abby, and God will release to you. Before you can go to a place of receiving, something must come first. You will not enter into the house of God without praise. There is no way you can do it. There is a place for prayer, there is a place for worship, and there is a place for praise. Hallelujah. There are place, places for prayer, yes. All of them has their work. And there are places for praise. The only thing that usher you into the presence of God is worship and praise. Hallelujah. Can you tell someone, I'm going to praise God today. I'm going to praise God today. So you will see that the only thing that can take you into the presence of God is praise. The Bible says, enter into his court, into his court with praise. And into his gate with thanksgiving. And you will see that thanksgiving and praise too. You cannot separate them. Both of them, they walk hand, they walk hand in hand. So now, I want to, we want to see the people or somebody who can praise God. It's not everybody that can praise God. It's not everybody. So I want, uh, please, can we have on the screen uh, Psalm 24 on the screen? Psalm 24 on the screen. Quickly, I, I want Psalm 24 to be, to be projected on the screen. Psalm 24. Okay, uh, from three to four. Let me read from here. The Bible says, "Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord?" You know, when we, when uh, the other time I was telling you that the only thing that can take you to the presence of God is praise. Hallelujah. Now, before you can praise, can take you. Something must happen. Hallelujah. That is why you see some people say, "I have prayed. Uh, they told me to praise. I still praise. Nothing happened. Check your life. If not, if 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 nothing is happening." Just check your life. The Bible charge us here that who may ascend into the hill of the Lord or who may stand in his holy place. Look at the Bible, what the Bible says. It says, he who has clean hands and a pure heart. Hallelujah. Amen. So, which means that before you can even praise, your heart must be pure. Hallelujah. That is why you see, I have, have praise. You have uh, attended so, uh, so many uh, praise concerts. Nothing is happening. Check your life. Check your life. The Bible says, he who has clean hand and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sweat, nor sworn deceitfully. There are so many times, our mommy, I don't want to, <laughs> even women too, we do it. Because you want to sell market. Ah, ah, in fact, Jesus, you understand what I, what I mean. You understand? I swear to God, this is the, because you want to sell. What concerns Christ with your gain? Hallelujah. So you are, you are, you are swearing deceitfully. When you are doing this, you are using Christ to back up your life. And you said you praise God and nothing is happening. Hallelujah. He shall receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Just like what I told you, this is just a charge. You see what happened in the Second Chronicle 20, 13 to 26. When people praise God, God released blessing to them. But now, I just want to, I don't know, peradventure we have somebody here. Hallelujah. That you are not in accordance with God's way. Hallelujah. If you know that when you praise God this afternoon, God is not going to hear you. The Bible says the prayer of a sinner is an, what? Is an abomination unto God. Even the praise, not only prayer, the praise of a sinner is an abomination unto God. So if we have somebody, if you are yet to know Christ, I'm using this opportunity to invite you to the King of Kings, the one that will inhabit your praise. I'm using this opportunity to invite you to give your life to Christ. And if you have already do, glory be to God. 
But before I leave you, I will want to leave you with a, uh, a praise hymn in Yoruba. I don't know how to, to sing that hymn in English. Probably I would have studied the English. But if you just follow the tune. Oh, Lori, Jotor, Layola, Wolefu, Koto de I Jotaye. You ma kori bitor agbe oko wa soke sire ni boku awa kipe awa fi for Father, we thank you for your word. Lord will bless you. We thank you because you have sent your word and your word has led us this afternoon. Father, we thank you. And we thank you that even as we praise you this afternoon, you will release blessing unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. And your name will be glorified. Father, we thank you. Lord, we worship you. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' name, we are free. If you are clapping your hands for Kaya, then you did too much. But if you're clapping to him who will release your blessing to you in this very place, then you have not started. Clap your hands the harder to the Lord God Almighty. Praise Jesus. We thank God for all your... Father, we thank you for your son whom you've used this very moment to charge us up. We pray, Lord, that you will strengthen him the more in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, you're going to use him for your glory in the name of Jesus. We declare it is well with him always in the mighty name of Jesus. The sound of rejoicing will never cease in his life, in his home and his family in jesus wonderful name we have prayed somebody say a better amen god bless you can we have our seats yes you need to identify the fact that we are here and so the bedside of choir are making us to understand they are present in the house they said who did it oh my god hey Hallelujah. <laughs> that is it. Rejoicing in the presence of God. I hope you heard him when the Son of God was ministering this very afternoon. Even our brother, he said, even when they were in the world and they wanted to appreciate and praise somebody, they will find something. I don't know if you heard it. And from there, they'll begin to praise that person. Even if the person is short, they will use that one. Praise God. They will shall find something. But some of us will come to where to praise God. You will keep remembering your problems, your the burdens, the challenges. But when you think, somebody said how sweet. Praise God. But you need to think and then you will see the goodness of God. You will find that there are many reasons that you need to do what? To praise this God. And before you know you are in the presence of God. Where you bring forth your requests and the Lord will grant them all in the name of Jesus. The topic of today said, Barak what? Baraka. And he said again, Baraka is the place you collect your what? Your blessings. How many of you is ready to collect? What a wonderful charge. Praise the Lord. And then he said, there is something you need to do. That you need to come with a pure heart. Please, how many of you will they serve a food with a dirty plate and you will eat it? Let me see you. If you know you will eat a food from a dirty place. And that is why the Lord cannot eat from a heart that is not pure. Praise the Lord. And I pray that your heart is pure before him. So that everything you will offer to him, he will accept it. And of course, we're going out of here blessed in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout a blessed hallelujah. We are moving on. And this moment we want to invite the third artist for today. Praise the Lord. And there's no other person but our beloved brother from the Fresh Fire and his group. And that is Friday Ipe Dickiness of Dickie Friday Ipe and his group. Clap your hands for Jesus. I want to appreciate God for this opportunity and I want to appreciate our dear mommy and all the ministers in the house also my family my wonderful family fresh fire God bless you you know I love you I can never love you guys less and to all the congregants I love you all can we all please rise to our feet this afternoon as we offer to God the fruit of our lips praise the name of Jesus let me see your two hands wave to the heavens. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
hallelujah there is no God we can compare with our Jesus hallelujah
shataya. Hey, we praise your name.
we celebrate when we get there also in the name of Jesus. It is rejoicing all over. Somebody shout that name again. Say Jesus. Jesus. All right. This moment we want to take the offering and to lead us in the offering is not a person but a brother from the fresh fire. Brother Yele, clap your hands for Jesus as he comes forward. Roger Sharon, I'd like for you to raise your voice and shout hallelujah to God. To El Baraka. Come on, Rose of Sharon, you can do better. Lift your voices and shout a big hallelujah. hallelujah. You may please be seated. Um, it's time to honor God with our material increase. And as we do that, I'd like for us to quickly turn our hearts to the book of Genesis chapter 4, verses 4 and 5. If the media will kindly put that up for us. Genesis chapter 4, verses 4 and 5. I'd like for us to read together, please. One to go. Are we there? It's on screen already. Let's read together, everybody. Abel brought, also brought of the firstborn of his flock and of their fat. And the Lord respected Abel and his offering. Verse 5. Verse 5, please. But he did not respect Cain and his offering. And Cain was very angry and his countenance filled. Let's read it again, verse 5. But he did not respect Cain and his offering. What was the first thing he didn't respect, please, everyone? What was the first thing there, right there? The person, Cain, he did not respect his offering. And so as we come together, as we come forward today, um, giving unto God, I'd like to remind us that the first offering God requires from you, from me, is our lives, okay? God, the very first offering that God demands of you and of me is that, turn to your neighbor and say it, the most important offering that God demands of you is your life. Okay, so if you do not remember anything from this service today, please do not forget the most important thing God demands of you, the first offering is your life. Amen. Fresh fire. Thank you.
Once can we pray, Father, that indeed it will be acceptable unto you in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, in every way that we have not honored you with our lives, we repent, O God, and we say, have mercy. Thank you, Father, because we know you answer prayers. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. again. Who did it? Jesus. Oh my God. Hey. Wow. Our mommy has so many children. And these are her children from the bedside choir. It is their time to minister to us and I want to promise you you must dance. If you have not removed your shoe all this while you should remove your shoe now. Hallelujah. Because the dance will show you wherever you are. Some of you are already sitting down since you don't want to shake your body. Praise God. Try and shake your body before you leave this place. You know in shaking that body, you shake out some things. Praise the Lord. So please, because they are going to be singing right now, make sure you join them, you celebrate the Lord Jesus, and make sure you collect all you need to collect in this very service. In the name of Jesus. Okay? So beside the choir, it is your time. we believe that the church slash ministry ministries like Rose of Sharon is the last hope of the less privileged. I thought somebody would put hands together for that. Wait, wait. Let me repeat what I said. I said a ministry like Rose of Sharon is the last hope for the less privileged. And at Rose of Sharon and at Rose of Sharon we the blind understand that there is a balm in the land of Gilead. Praise the Lord. We also want to thank the church for your support, for your love. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for allowing us to minister here today. We don't take it for granted. We pray that God in his infinite mercy we give you a year, this year 2022 gift in Jesus' name.
live fire. There is a fresh fire tonight. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, live fire. Slow, slow, no. Oh, yeah, owner.
some time. My God. Clap for the bedside of choir. God bless them. God continue to keep them. God going to watch them. What a wonderful vessels of God. We thank God for your lives. Wonderful. May the anointing continue to increase in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And again, let's echo their slogan. Who did it? Oh my God. Hey. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's only Jesus that has done it. And we keep doing it in the name of Jesus. Right now, we want to call upon the judges. I want to believe they have agreed on one of them. And I heard that it is going to be our sister, Engineer Mabel, to come out to give us the result of the competition. And please, we want to announce to us that after the announcement that our servant leader will come, and make the declaration. The winner will be given an opportunity for seven minutes to lead us in praises as we celebrate more and more in his presence. Praise the Lord. And Gina Mabel, please, the results. People of God, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise, 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 Master Father. Hallelujah. Our Lord is good. He's been awesome here this afternoon. I know a lot of us have been blessed in various ways. Some people must have received their miracles. Even healing. Let us put our hands together for the Most High God. Praise Him. Praise Him. I want to thank God for the privilege. I'm here. I'm standing here on behalf of the judges. And I want to thank uh, our servant leader and the ministry for the privilege, for the honor to be among the judges. To Him be all the glory. And I want to thank the Most High God for what He is doing in this ministry. Most especially for what he's using our servant leader to do in this ministry. May we all stand up and clap to the Most High God in appreciation for what he's doing in the life of our servant leader. Give him glory. Clap unto him. Thank him for behalf of the servant leader. We honor you. Father, we bless you. In Jesus, can you see that? Servant leader is a woman of God, a servant of God indeed that God is using in the life of people. And that's why he came up, she came up with this contest. Because she's the, somebody that recognizes the talent God, and gift God has put in one. And she goes all the way to project it and to showcase the people and to encourage them. And that's what has happened here this, this afternoon. So we are here. Um, everybody who came out here did very well. You know, the competition was very keen. It was very keen. And then I know, <laughs> praise the Lord, 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 hallelujah. And I know we're all richly blessed. You are all richly blessed. I am blessed. I don't know about you. I'm blessed. Praise the Lord. Servant leader, may the good Lord continue to uphold you. May the good Lord continue to make you greater and greater. May the good Lord continue to reward your love, your care, your blessing and to, for on, on, on others. You are there that you have so much passion to make people great. And they always say that how God has blessed you, that he, you, you want God to bless others. And may the good Lord continue to make you greater and greater and bless you more and more in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the Lord. So we have come to the awaited time. Yes, you know, as I said, everybody did very well. But there must be a winner. 
there must be a winner. Uh, what we considered in judging uh, the contest, uh, we judged the songs that were presented, how well they were presented. We judged the dance. You know, at times, the back singers, their dance motivates the audience. But when they are there just standing, not moving body, and, you know, you don't hear. So that was also put into consideration. Then the dressing. You know, today is supposed to be African praise. Some were dressed in English, some were dressed in uh, casual, you know, in some people. And there were some that were dressed in traditional corporate. So we, this, all these were taken into consideration. Then also the preparation, because the preparation precedes performance. So the way you have prepared will uh, tell on how you are performed. So in all together, uh, we have arrived at, at, um, at the following results. Um, well, we start from the, um, uh, not the least. I mean, they all perform well, as I said, but there must be a winner. Uh, Chuka uh, came third with uh, 109 points. Put your hands together for the King of Kings. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. <laughs> then the next one, the second uh, person is Friday, Ibe. He came with, with 119 points. And then the winner is Rinka Jibro. Rinka Jibro. With, he, he came first with, with 122 points. Put your hands together for the King of Kings. Praise the Lord. You know, as I said, they scored highly in everything. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Praise the Lord. I hope everybody agrees with us. The audience agrees with us. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Um, well, well, the performance. Uh, yes, we put out with the performance. Yeah? So we judged. We had, we had criteria. We had criteria which we worked on. Okay, and it was on those things that we judged. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, I want to thank I want to thank our mommy for the opportunity. And as they said, uh, I'll call on my my brothers. Please come. Let's do it together. <laughs> All right. Let's do it together. Let's hold on, please.
Praise the Lord. Yes, we are all together. Uh, we are still on one page. Um, you know, our servant leader uh, is a, 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 a apostle of the Most High God, and God has endowed her with so much wisdom. Okay? So while she's sitting there, obviously there are a lot of things she noticed, she observed. Praise the Lord. Uh, one of them is that the uh, winner um, had to borrow somebody to come and sing with him. And that person is also a contestant. Okay? So that disqualifies him and that disqualifies also the other one. For, for li knowing that he's a contestant and then went to join somebody else who is also a contender. You know? So, so, <laughs> so praise the Lord. <laughs> so, uh, so that leaves us with uh, Amen. Amen. So, what it is that Ebuka now is the winner of the contest? <laughs> praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, praise the Lord. So, I think this is a lesson to learn from them that, you know, in a contest, you have to strictly abide by the rules and regulation. Because something else can disqualify you from where you least expected, you know? From other things, you know, we thought they were okay, but other things had to disqualify them. Uh, so that's how it is. That's life for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for the King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Eh? Hey, Buka, congratulations. Uh, may the good Lord uphold you and take you higher and higher in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. One house, one house. Praise God. That is the essence of we coming into the house of the Lord. We learn every day. Praise God. Bible says iron does what? Sharpened iron. Some things I don't know. By the time we come together, we learn. We, you know, we get better. Praise the Lord. And so we thank God we've learned from the wealth of knowledge and experience that God has given our servant leader, Apostle Lauren Shaw. Like, let's clap our hands for Jesus. Yes, on the line, it is a competition. And in a competition, you must keep to your own band. You must keep to your own group. Praise the Lord. So that when you are collecting your marks, you know that it is this group that owns this mark. Hallelujah. So we are learning that. It could help you tomorrow somewhere you're going. You don't know. Praise the Lord. You don't know what we learn today where it's going to take you and I. Praise the Lord. God bless us all in the name of Jesus. And right now, we want to take the announcements for the day. Let's clap our hands for Jesus. Welcome to Rose of Sharon Glorious Ministry International where we share the love of Christ. Our worship center is at number 14, Ogulano Drive, Suruleri, Lagos. Our services as follows. Every Tuesday we meet for the lunch hour fellowship at 12 noon. Evening service also holds on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. It is well with you as you come. Tell your friends, tell your relatives, and also make sure that you bring your chicken. Our monthly three-day fasting and prayer program holds from the first Monday to the first Wednesday of every month. Our monthly vigil holds on the third Friday of the month at 11 p.m. The next one will hold on Friday, 21st October 2022 at 11 p.m. Our monthly youth fellowship Ignite meeting also holds on the third Friday. The prepared vessel in the passage means our souls. Our souls are empty vessels that the Lord is willing to fill. Yes, Lord Prayer Retreat holds on the second Saturday of every month. Evangelism holds on the last Tuesday of the month after lunch hour fellowship. Jesus on the Street Evangelism will hold on Friday, 28 October. Boss departs from the ministry at 8.30 a.m. The University of Marriage Retreat holds quarterly on the second Saturday of the month in that quarter. Join the Rose of Sharon Glorious Ministry International for social media evangelism by following us on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at Rose Gym and on our Facebook page at rosegym.org. 
You can also visit our website at www.rosegym.org for more information on our service times. For counseling and prayers, call 090-466-27358. 090-466-27358. On Monday to Friday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. God bless you. Are you blessed? Do you feel blessed? Have you received his blessings? Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Wow. God's children brought the roof down. God must be very, very happy in his mercy seat with Rose of Sharon Glorious Ministry International. We bless God for our lives. We thank God for the talents that he has bestowed on more than three quarters of the people that are here, especially in song and dance. Ah, Father, we can't say... We, we, ah, what more can we say? Ah! He's the one at work in all of us. To him be all the honor, to him be all the glory, to him be all the adoration. He deserves our dance, our praise, our worship, a lot more than we give him. We just thank him. We appreciate him for all that he does for us. That three in one God, who is incomparable, who is undeniable. We can't thank him enough. He's just been awesome in our lives and in this place. In Jesus' name. I believe everybody has enjoyed themselves. We bless God for the opportunity has given us to be here today. There are those who would have wanted to be here, but for one reason or the other, they couldn't make it. But we are privileged to be here in his presence and in his presence there is what fullness of joy and there are what pleasures forevermore and so it is now and so it will continue in the name of jesus in jesus mighty name amen i'll just add to the uh, uh notices on tuesday is our bible study Monday, sorry, on yes, on Tuesday, our Bible study. Uh, there's nothing happening on Monday. We are going to do whatever we want to do on our own um, outside this place. But on the same Tuesday, which is the 11th of October, 2022, one house, please. God told us that we should praise him for seven days. And it's starting on that day as we have uh, uh, announced before, just as a reminder. And then it ends the following Monday, which is the 17th. It starts at 6 p.m. every evening and ends at 7.30. By his grace, the Lord himself, the angels of the living God will be here with us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. Do we have first timers with us today? Those who are worshipping with us for the very, very first time. Can you just shout hallelujah? Can we give them our very warm welcome? We welcome you to our
We pray that you will come again and again with your families, your friends, your relations, and everyone, including your animals, bring them their welcome. The Lord is here. And he desires to continue to bless us here. There's a form in the bag that you were given. That form belongs to us. It's very important to us. It will help us keep track of you and your prayers so that we can be praying for you so that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you in the name of Jesus. Please hand that piece of paper to the council or the ushers and see them at the end of the service and they will tell you a lot more about our ministry. But in the time being, we have two services every Tuesday, 12 o'clock and 6 p.m. And on the second Saturday of every month, just like this one, we have various programs. We love you, so continue to join us. God bless you. And we have several conferences throughout the year. We just finished the conceiver for those who are looking for the fruit of the womb. And in January, I will be announcing it later in full details. We'll be having a conference for healing on the 29th of January. And that will be twice a year. If you want to clap for Jesus, do it properly. Of course, again, we'll be gathering together uh, in Lagos, in the heart of Lagos. God told us to go to Lagos for our next crusade. He said he has given Lagos to us. He said he has given us Lagos. Um, no wonder, no, no wonder, no wonder Surulere Stadium had been telling us since last year that our crusade must finish by 6 p.m. <laughs> they didn't know that God had a better plan. He said he has given us Lagos. So Lagos, here we come. The exact venue will be announced later. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Concerning the program of uh, today, we have all been blessed. We've all been touched in one way or the other. We do not want to leave his presence. We have to do things the way we are supposed to do them. Dot our I's, cross our T's, do them according to the will of God, according to uh, 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 how things should be done properly, and uh, make sure that uh, we do not offend God in any way whatsoever. And we have to learn from our mistakes, unfortunately. Sometimes we have to learn the hard way, but it is well. God knows best. Every single one of the participants are our children here. Yeah. And God desires to bless every single one of them. But it's all about the right time. He orchestrates the right time. And he causes us to learn from whatever mistakes we've made in the past. And become better and better. That is where he wants to keep us and put us. To be better in all that we do. Yes, I'll explain it a bit more. Um, no contestant is supposed to be part of another group. It's not allowed in any part of the world in a competition, contest, call it what you like. It's not allowed. And uh, the uh, judges were not aware of what transpired, but we could see um, uh, from, from uh, this corner here, the ministers could see, we could all see uh, what, what they didn't notice, what they weren't aware of, and uh, we had to make it clear so that um, uh, we do not get uh, whipped by God later on, so that um, uh, we do things right the way it should be done. And it is also for that same reason, though I knew that it was going to be a competition, but it was for that same reason that I did not announce it beforehand. So that it would be free and fair to all the contestants. I did not tell a soul about it until I got here today. So, and we quickly organized it 
and uh, we thank God that we were able to correct the anomaly. Um, no hard feelings. Um, we don't have anything against anyone. Every single one of you have done very well. Uh, we thank God for your lives. We love every single one of you. That's the truth. That's the gospel truth. And there must be no partiality. I know it, we weren't being partial. The judges were not being partial. partial. They were just not aware of what happened. And I needed to stress that in uh, as I stood, as I'm standing here. So please give every single one of them another big round of applause. They all did very well. We appreciate them for the efforts that they put in. It's a lot of hard work and it is God himself that has blessed them with the talent that he has equipped them with. And he will never leave them. He will never forsake them. And as a result, uh, please be upstanding. As a result, it is those who took part in the competition and our children from Bethesda who joined us to add color as well to the uh, event of today that will be the first that we will pray for. So, First Samuel chapter 16 verse 16 says, can we have it on the screen and can doctor also uh, read it please? First Samuel chapter 16 verse 16, let our master now command your servant who are before you to seek out a man who is, who is a skillful player on the harp and it shall be that he will play it with his hand when the distressing spirit from God is upon you and you shall be well. Praise the Lord. What was being referred to there? And evil spirits had entered into King Saul. Maybe he thought he was from God, wherever he came from, whatever, it doesn't matter. But an evil spirit had started tormenting him. And he needed a skillful musician to take that evil spirit away from him. So that he can be replenished, so that his soul can be replenished. So that he can feel better again. So that he can have a good heart. So that he can be joyful. So that that evil spirit would leave him. And they found one. And they found one in David. David who would later become king after him. God has bestowed talent on all our musicians. Every single one of them, whatever kind of instrument that they play, whether they sing, whether they hold uh, instruments, whatever it is, they have been taught how to use them. God has bestowed that skill onto them from their mother's wombs. They have built on it. They have, they have practiced it. They have become better and better over the years. And they are making people joyous all over wherever their music is being listened to and it brings us joy we rejoice we are happy each time we listen to them and what more can we say but to pray for them I'd like um, I'd like every single person in this room uh, point their hands or their fingers towards them. You are pointing this way. You are pointing that way because the Bethsaida children are, are, are to my left and the Fresh Fire and their various groups are to my right. So they're all over this room. Can we lift up our voices and pray for them? Let us pray for them and I will round up that prayer. Pray for them from the bottom of your hearts. Ask God to renew them, to renew their anointing. Thank God for the skills that he has bestowed upon them. Appreciate God for picking them out, 
even at the time that he was putting them in their mother's wombs, he knew what they would become. He knew what he was going to make of them. He knew how he would touch them from the crowns of their heads to the soles of their feet. He knew how he wanted to use them and where he wanted to use them. Pray for them. I can't hear your voices, ministers. Are you pointing to them and praying for them? In Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you for the talents that you have put into the hearts and minds and bodies and temples of these ones. Your creation. Father, Lord God, you knew what you wanted to do with them. You knew what you wanted to achieve with them. We thank you for picking them out. We thank you for your grace over them. We thank you for your blessings upon them. We thank you for how far you have brought them. We thank you for where you are taking them to. We thank you, Father, Lord God, because it has pleased you, Father, to use them for your glory. Father, we, we decree and we declare that wherever they go, Father, Lord God, you will use them mightily for your glory. Amen. To the shame of the devil Amen. and to their victory. In the name of Jesus, as they sing for you, as they dance for you, as they use those instruments for you, yokes will be broken. Amen. Burdens will be made light. Amen. Healings will take place. Amen. Everywhere they go, they will make a difference. Amen. People will be slain in the spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord God, we pray that you will grant them grace to prosper in all that they do. You will bless the work of their hands. You will renew their anointing every day of their lives. It shall be well with them if they are going out and they are coming in. They shall be discovered by the best who are looking for the best. In the name of Jesus. I said they shall be discovered. None of them shall be hiding. None of them shall be hidden. In the name of Jesus. I pray, Father, Lord God, that you will single them out for excellence. You will single them out for upliftment. You will single them out for, 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 for um, favor. In the name of Jesus. They will be favored everywhere they go. In the mighty name of Jesus. They will excel in all that they touch. They will prosper in all that they touch. Oh, Father, Lord God, you will bless them in the city. You will bless them in the country. You will bless them financially. In the name of Jesus. I ask, Father, Lord God, these surprises, you will surprise them. I ask, Father, Lord God, that in timing, Father, Lord God, you will do it in a timely fashion. You will do it suddenly. Where they least expect a favor to come from, they will receive. They will walk into it. In the name of Jesus. It will be well with them. They will be united. It shall be well with them. I said they will be united. I, they will be united. Love will bind them. Love will bind them. Love will bind them. Your love, Father Lord God, will bring grace for them. This month of double grace will be their portion. In the name of Jesus, it will be well with them. If they are going out and if they are coming in. In the name of Jesus, no evil shall befall them. In the mighty name of Jesus, they will always be at the right place at the right time. In the name of Jesus, uplift them and uphold them, O oh Lord God. Bring them out of obscurity. And Father Lord God, bring them into your prosperity. Bring them into your grace. Bring them into your favor. Announce them, O oh Lord God. Market them, O oh Lord God. Do that which only you can do for them. Do that which only you do best. Make a way for them, O oh Lord God. Where they least expected help to come from, let them find a way. Let them receive help. Let them receive help in the north. Let them receive help in the south. Let them receive help in the, on the right. Let them receive help on the left. In the name of Jesus. Wherever and however, Father, Lord God, all that you desire for them, let them let it be bestowed upon them. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are praying. Amen. Amen. And amen. I pray, Father, Lord God, for your children from the, from, from the school of Bethesda, Bethesda. Father, Lord God, that it shall be well with them in every area of their lives. Nothing, not, they shall not be found wanting. Everything that you desire for them, they shall receive. 
Father, Lord God, nothing shall elude them. Everything good, everything great shall be their portion. Father, Lord God, renew their talents. Renew their talents. Anoint them afresh. Anoint them afresh. Renew their, renew their talents. Make a way for them, O Lord God. Father, Lord God, that which is in their body that has not brought light will bring light. Father, let your light shine upon them. Father, let your light shine upon them. Let your light shine upon them. Light and darkness have no accord. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot comprehend it. Father, let, let them be your light. Let them be your light. Everywhere they go, let them shine for you. Let them shine for you. Heal them, O Lord God. From the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. Heal them in the name of Jesus. Bless them in the name of Jesus. And that wedding that's coming up in December, on December 3rd, Father, Lord God, there shall be singing. There shall be melody. There shall be dancing. There shall be rejoicing. They will get married and they will have children. They will have boys and girls. They will have twins and triplets. It shall be well with them. The love that binds them will not grow cold. In the name of Jesus, they will excel in school. They will prosper in school. They will get into the best schools. In the name of Jesus, as they have, as they have honored you, Father, give them double honor. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. And all the people said, Psalm 28, verse 7. Can you read that quickly? Hallelujah. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices, and with my song, I will praise him. And with my song, I will praise him. Who are you going to praise? Oh. Who have we praised? Oh. And who are we going to praise for the next seven days from Tuesday? Praise the Lord. He's the one who gives us strength. He's the one who gives us help us. He's the one who helps us in every area of our lives. Don't think that you just walked into assistance. Don't think you just walked into help. He orchestrates it. Don't think that in your in, 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 when, 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 when you were weak and he strengthened you, don't think that it was through your power. It was through his power. It was through his grace. It was through his anointing. It was through his will. His divine will. His divine will. His love for you. His love for me. And all that we desire. That we bring before him. That he's always giving us answers to. Even when we, are, we have not even opened our mouths. He knows what we, are, what we are suffering. And how much more. When we open our mouths. Before we even finish speaking. He has already answered. Is he not a great God? Is he not a good God? Is he not an amazing God? Is he not an awesome God? Does he not want to do everything for us? At all times and in all seasons. Oh Father Lord God we thank you. We thank you for all that you have done for each and every single one of us. We know Father Lord God. That you have added more joy to our joy today. Because we praised you. Because we danced before you. Because, Father Lord God, we worshipped you. Oh, Father Lord God, continue to visit us. Continue to visit us. Continue to open doors of blessings unto us. Continue to heal us. Continue to deliver us from the evil one. Continue to make a way for us in every area of our lives. In the lives of our families. In the lives of our spouses. In the lives of our children. In the lives of all that are around us. Father Lord God. Father, we pray that you will help us to win more souls for you. In the name of Jesus. It is our way of saying thank you, Lord. It is our way of saying thank you, Jesus. Empower us more so that we can bring more to you. Those who do not yet know you, help us, Father. Let it be all of you and none of us. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And all the people said, and all the people said, let us share the grace in fellowship. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. When others are saying there's a casting down, as for me and my household, it's a lifting up. Amen. When others are saying there's a casting down, as for me and my household, it's a lifting up. Amen. When others are saying there's a casting down, Rose Jim, as for Rose Jim and its members, it's a lifting up in Jesus' name. Amen. I'd like you, 
I'd like you to please clap for Fresh Fire for putting this program together. Through the grace of God and through the blessings of the Lord who has empowered them and strengthened them and helped them, they have single-handedly put this program together. It's the first time that they are doing it from beginning to the end. The only parts I have done anything about is just this prayer. They did everything from beginning to the end. That's the first time. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. So we appreciate you. We thank you for all your efforts and uh, for the explanation that uh, was given. Can you please, one, one house, please, don't leave yet, please. I'm still on the altar, please. Thank you. God bless you. The Lord is still here. Um, for the announcement that was made about the vision concerning uh, the competition, as I, uh, it was said, it's going to be every two years. And the reasoning behind it, the main reason, the only reason, the major reason behind it is that we have to support one another. We have to pull each other up. You have to lift people from obscurity into the limelight. They have the talent. They may be struggling with the funding. We have promised in this place that we will provide the funding. To help them get up and be noticed and be given the opportunity to stand up amongst their peers that are out there so that they can be recognized so that we can be proud of them so that the Lord can be proud of them so that those areas where they needed help as I said, God won't come down himself he will send helpers so we are their helpers so the competition is to find out which group is the group to help next so we now know the group to help for the next two years while they are busy preparing a new if they don't have one already a, uh, or if they have one already a new album praise the lord and we pray that in that new album there'll be many many hits there'll be many hits and when uh, you have received those, help, uh, those hits, don't forget that we are here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Continue to help one another in every area of our lives. And it will be the turn of another group and another group. God help us all in Jesus' name. Amen. Glorious God, beautiful King. Excellent God.